What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be short and sweet. It's going to be about abdominal pain and figuring out what, when people are saying, you know, localized area of pain, thinking ahead, thinking what it could possibly be. Don't be thinking, uh, let's just wait for the CT results, yada, yada, yada. I want to know right now, what are you thinking when they're coming in with right lower quadrant pain? Are you thinking, oh, possibly appendicitis? Um, start thinking like that, okay? That's why I wanted to make this video to see if we can't all be thinking ahead, trying to be proactive. Uh, maybe even getting the patient ready for some news that uh, you know they might not want to hear, okay? So I have to give a shout out to one of the guys at work for giving me this video. Ben, thank you, man. This will help. Um, so let's break it down by quadrant. Um, I have four quadrants, right upper, left upper, left lower, right lower quadrant. I know in school they teach you like nine different ones, but you just need, you just need four, okay? So let's start with your right upper quadrant. You've got, for the most part, I think your two big hitters here, liver, gallbladder, um, your pancreas is kind of tucked away. It's more, it's more uh, epigastric area. It's not really right upper quadrant. So we got your liver. You've got your gallbladder here. If they're complaining of pain, right upper quadrant. Um, it could be hepatitis. It could be cholecystitis, um, which is an infection in the gallbladder or inflammation. Um, they could have a gallstone. They could have um, any number of things related to that. Okay. Um, quick tip for you guys is doing the Murphy's test. If you don't know what that is, look it up. It'll help you determine if it's something to do with the gallbladder or not, okay? Um, so that's your right upper quadrant. Left upper quadrant, really just the spleen. There's not a whole lot. The spleen's kind of right over here. So like if you're a triage nurse and this guy comes in saying he was in a car wreck, you know, a few hours ago, didn't lose consciousness, didn't think it was that serious, but man, he's, there's just killer pain right here. Um, might want to get this guy checked out. Possibly could be a lacerated spleen, something like that. So be thinking worst case scenario always, okay? Left upper quadrant, it's just the spleen. Um, now, left or the lower quadrants, not a whole lot of organs here, right? It's mostly intestines. Um, so like left lower quadrant, when I hear that people are complaining of pain here, thinking diverticulitis, right lower quadrant, really you've got appendicitis. You know, that's, that's the big thing that I'm thinking of. So somebody's complaining of pain, right lower quadrant, do they have their appendix taken out already? Is it still there? Could it possibly be that? Yeah, that's something that you gotta, because if it's appendicitis, they're going to surgery, okay? So you need to be ready for that. Um, now there's obviously, if you're a female, it's different. It's more of your pelvic organs, right? But you've got ovaries, males don't have that. So if it's a female, possibly they have uh, ovarian cyst, ovarian cyst rupture. Um, they could have something like endometriosis, which isn't really localized, I don't think. Um, or an ectopic pregnancy. That's that's your emergent one, in my opinion, is the ectopic pregnancy. So they can have pain on either side, depending on where that pregnancy is. So you need to be asking them, you know, when was your last menstrual period? Any chance you could be pregnant? Um, has there been a lot of bleeding? Um, is it stop? Is it increasing? What's going on? Um, so those are people who need to get checked out. Because so ectopic pregnancy, if that ruptures, lead to a bad hemorrhage, and it's a very emergent situation, guys. So Gender-wise, it's different for males and females. They have, of course, different uh, organs there. Now, you also have kidneys, which are more, when people complain of kidney stones, it's more flank pain they complain of. Sometimes it's abdominal, though. And it could be either side, um, depending on which kidney is affected or where the kidney stone is. If they have a kidney stone, it could be pyelonephritis, anything like that, okay? Um, but that's your lower quadrants. Not really more, any more I can think of off the top of my head. Now this list isn't exactly exhaustive. I just want to go over some quick things that it could possibly be because I wanted to know this stuff, um, especially if you're a triage nurse. It's very important to know these things and because you have to be thinking worst case scenario because you don't want to send somebody, like I said earlier, with a lacerated spleen out into the lobby. Um, another quadrant that will, this is the fifth, the secret quadrant, we'll call it. Um, it's your epigastric area. This is important because a lot of people that are actually having heart attacks complain of not chest pain, but epigastric pain. They're gonna say it's more more indigestion. It's not It's not pressure. I mean, people don't all the time come in saying, uh, an elephant sitting on my chest and I can't breathe. I think I'm having a heart attack. They don't do that, okay? They, uh, especially females. The female population has a different set of symptoms for MIs. And a lot of times it's epigastric, just 
like a fullness, indigestion, heartburn, they're going to complain of something like that. Um, so worst case scenario, kind of rule out, do a cardiac workup for these people if they're, you know, 40 and have the potential for a heart attack especially. Um, but you need to do a full cardiac workup, scratch that off the list, make sure they're not having a heart attack, then take a step back and be like, okay, here's some Pepsi, let's see if this helps. You know, you might just be having acid reflux. Um, now, if they're like 20 and they're coming in with epigastric pain, they shouldn't be having a heart attack, right? I mean, unless they're doing like cocaine or something. Um, they shouldn't really be having a heart attack. But um, other things, epigastric area, you've got like gastritis, you have, you know, ulcers, that it could possibly be an ulcer, um, things like that. So, yeah, um, I hope this is helpful for you guys. I just wanted to make a quick video on this. Um, explaining, you know, just really all you have to do is think of your anatomy and think where the organs are located and just freshen up on that a little bit, okay? Because it's going to help you a lot um, instead of just blindly like, uh, there, you know, left lower quadrants hurt, it could be their gallbladder, you know, you're not even thinking. Um, so just, yeah, get on, the, get on that page. I want you to be thinking ahead. That's why I made this video. Um, if you guys have anything else to add, anything important, uh, especially, you know, something that I might have missed. Um, yeah, feel free to add it. Talk to me. Let me know what you think of the video. Give it a thumbs up if you like the video. Uh, if you don't, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but hit that subscribe button if you guys want to see more. I'm trying to make a weekly video as best I can, uh, according to my work schedule, of course. But, uh, yeah, just let me know what you think in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.